this is a 2017 Hyundai uh, Hyper SE. I gotta show you this. I just clean it again because the, whenever I get it, it just it wasn't clean enough. Look how roomy this is in there. At least the trunk. It doesn't have a spare tire. It has a, a kit which got a pump in there. It's got a bottle of uh, a fixed flat. And at least it will take you where you need to go. And get it fixed the right way. I gotta show you guys this. Look how roomy it is in the inside. I went to look at the uh, Toyota Prius in the Honda Hybrid that they have, and I also went to look at the um, uh, the Chevy Volt, and I compare all of them. And this is the only one that gives me more room, as you can see. The Volt is a good uh, it's a good vehicle, but they were asking thirty one thousand. That's that's as much as. I mean, the cheapest that you can get it. They didn't have any fucking rebate, so I told them, well, I didn't say anything, I just walked away from it. But you see, you can comfortably seat three in the back and two in the front, as you can see. Oh, this one runs with a, as you can see, a gas engine, and it also has a transmission. Not like the other vehicles, I can't remember what uh, they call it, but it's not, well, it's sort of like a transmission, but technically it's not a transmission. I already rented 246 miles, and I'm gonna show you something that I was shocked. The salesman wasn't that, he wasn't that knowledgeable about him. Like I said, before I bought this one, I went and checked the rest of them out just to see the com to compare. Let me show you. This is, I ran 177 miles, and this is the Shocker. Let's see, let me show you, because I have two receipts. Okay. Look how much, let me see, let me see in it. Uh, so you can see this. Hold on, I'm seeing the light. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. See, it's 0 .80, 0, let's say 0 .878 of a gallon. In other words, not even a gallon. And I ran 177 miles without much. I, uh, my wife, that's my wife, it's not mine. And as, as you know, women don't run like they're fucking crazy. So you, you drive it the way it should be driven and it, you should be able to get between 100 miles per gallon to probably what we got out of it so far. So the technology is compatible to just about anything you can go see, either the Toyota, Nissan or the uh, Chevy Volt. The only thing that this one doesn't have have the plug-in I think they do make one that's got the plug-in but it could it'll cost you about I think 28,000 and the Chevy Volt also has the plug they all plugged in but like I said they want 31,000 forget it this one the base price on this one it was 26 499 I think almost 27,000 yeah uh, Hyundai gave me a rebate of uh, 3500 plus 500 dollars off because I'm um, ex-military, Army Ranger, Whoa, lead the way. Uh, so I came out with 4,000 on discounts, so the price was 24,144, uh, I think it was. Uh, that includes tax, title, and license, and everything. And uh, in my opinion, this is a better deal than anything. You can go and compare, like I did. It took me a while to figure it out what I wanted, and one of the things that Hyundai made it plain to me the decision wasn't even I mean if you be I mean you know if you're smart enough like I said the room in the back it's a full size sedan not like I said not like the Prius or the uh, Chevy Volt 
so hopefully I will do another video and uh, and go from there I'll, I'll keep you updated on the miles I'm gonna check it at least for the next two months what we get uh, but like I said go check them out I ain't getting any money from Hyundai well I did you know the rebates but does anybody can get them uh, so so far I'm more than satisfied with what I pay for it and what is the vehicle is giving me and like I said the technology they are compatible there's no difference in technology oh the only well one of the main difference that most of them had is the uh, display it's like right there in the front you got all the displays in here radio and all that other crap and on the front well I gotta turn it on but I'll make another video and show you how actually the system actually works 90% of the times it runs on battery every now and then you will hear the engine kick in for about maybe 30 seconds and then it shuts off and then all, all is just nothing but battery so I hope you watch the video and go go do the comparisons like I did I'm not the smartest man in the world but I know I'm not an idiot and like I said for the money what I got I could not go wrong thanks